Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side mirror on this uh, two, um, 1997 Buick LeSabre. Uh, passenger side is basically the same procedure. It should be about the same for a 97 to 99 LeSabre, and it's similar for many cars like the Pontiac Bonneville, um, although removing the door panel may be a little different. The tools you'll need are you'll need a new mirror from oneauto.com, T25 Torx driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, and 8 and 10 millimeter wrenches. I'm using an 8 millimeter wrench to remove the negative terminal on the battery. Pushing it off to the side. I'm going to remove two Torx 25 screws here on the back side of the door. Just speed it up as we remove those screws. Disconnect the unlocked lock switch. I'm going to do that by using a pocket screwdriver and popping up on the tab here on the side. Using a pocket screwdriver, I'm going to pry on the front edge of the switch pack and pull it forward and out. Then we got a bunch of connectors. Okay, some of the connectors have tabs, some just um, kind of hold together by friction. So we're just using the small screwdriver to um, either help push the tabs in or to just pry the connector up and off. Using a pocket screwdriver, I'm going to try and get in to unlock the clips behind this. Yeah, there you go. See inside here the one ten millimeter bolt. And another 10 millimeter bolt here and here. Okay, so we'll fast forward here as we use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet to remove the bolt that's in behind the reflector, uh, and then the same tool to remove the two bolts that are underneath uh, the window switch or the switch panel. This connector up here, I'm going to use a pocket screwdriver to pry off, pry up on the clip, pull out, and down here on the side, little tab, pull out. Okay, so one of our clips didn't come out with the panel, so we pried it out of the door, and now we're sliding it back into the slot where it goes in the door panel. Slowly pe peel back the water shield. Um, You'll need to peel back basically the whole top. Grab your harness. Black cable coming down from the mirror. Bring it down to the connector. Undo your connector. And then disconnect. So there are two 8 to 10 millimeter nuts that hold the mirror on. One of them you're going to be able to feel if you put your hand up like this. And the other one, if you come in like this, and it's right here and here. 
Okay, the four nut is easier to reach. You can see we just use a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension and take that off. Just be careful not to drop it down into the door. If you do drop it down on the door, uh, it's pretty easy to reach um, and a magnet would help you if you do that. Uh, the other nut is not so easy to reach. We kind of start at the top, uh, then slide our hand in behind and we're using a 10 millimeter wrench uh, and basically just get the nut started. Uh, the good thing about it is once you get it started, usually you can take it off the rest of the way with your fingers. And again, be careful not to drop it down into the door as you take it off. So your replacement part from 1A Auto will come in flat black. And if you choose, you can just install it and leave it as is. Um, or you could be as crude as going to the hardware store, grabbing a can of spray paint that matches the color as close as possible and spraying it. Or you could go to an automotive uh, part supply store that has a paint department and get the color matched uh, paint in an air charge can and uh, spray it yourself. So I'm just going to reinstall this, uh, this mirror for the sake of the video to show you how to do it. The mirror's fine. So we're going to snake this through. Middle hole, pull it down through here. Line up two holes. And go back up with our 10 millimeter. Okay, again, um, we're just installing the original mirror because it's there's nothing wrong with it. I uh, can't see putting a new part on a car that doesn't need it. We just want to do this for the video for you. Um, and put the mirror back in place. Make sure you get the harness through. And then put the nuts on. Start them by hand first. And then tighten them up. connector down here. Keep these up in the appropriate spot. Repack your harness up top. And make sure that all one, two, three, four, five of your connectors are free. Put your panel back up on the sill. Okay, make sure you get it up on the, the door sill, activate the clips, uh, the, two, the T25 torque screw and the door handle closeout panel and that screw. Now install your three 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, the two uh, right underneath where the switch panel goes are pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, the one that goes in behind the, flector, the def deflector in the back of the panel, you have to feed it in by hand first, get it started, uh, and then use your um, wrench to tighten it up. Reinstall the reflector. Plug in your harnesses. Push the back in first, make sure not to pinch any of your wires, clip it in. Reconnect the battery. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. 
please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.